Siri, what time is it? It's 8.23. You've got that new iMac and that fancy blue microphone. There's no iPhone here. We've got gingerbread in the kitchen. Nobody wants a digital assistant. Everybody wants the digital assistant. Siri, well what if you could have Siri on your Mac? It's not possible, but you could get pretty close to it. So guys, you've got your Mac, you've got your blue microphone or whatever microphone you have, and I know what you're thinking. You want Siri. Now it's not actually possible to physically get Siri on your Mac. You can customize the speech uh, recognition features on your Macintosh computer to be very, very similar to that of Siri. So uh, I'm going to be walking you through how to do it. First, you're going to go to your system preferences. This can be done by clicking the Apple logo in the top left-hand corner of your Mac and clicking System Preferences. Now you'll find the Speech tab, which is right here. Now you'll see right here you have all of your stuff for your speech. You're going to have speakable items on and select your microphone, mine being the Blue Snowball microphone. Now you're going to want to have around here checked Listen Continuously with Keyboard. By default, this will be Computer. But, if you switch this to Siri, then, by saying Siri, you can activate the voice commands on your computer. As you can see over here, it says Siri. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go over to the text-to-speech. You're going to want to go to System Voice and look at the choices. Right here, you can see I have the name Samantha selected, but it's not actually usually here. You won't see Samantha when you're on the computer, and I choose Samantha because it sounds most like Siri, but you can choose whatever you want. If you're going to want to go to Customize, I then find Samantha here, check it on the list, and it will download Samantha for you. Samantha is about 400 megabytes, so it might take a small amount of time before you download the voice, but it was rather quick. And as you can hear, Samantha does sound rather like Siri. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. So, if you heard that, it did sound a lot like our girl Siri there on the iPhone 4S. And now I'm just going to show you some examples of what you could do with this newfound Siri. Siri, tell me a joke. Siri, who's there? Tennis. Siri, tennis who? Tennis 5 plus 5. Siri, what day is it? It's Sunday, November 6th. Siri, open my browser. Siri, move page bottom. So as you can see, this is seriously, <laughs> kind of like Siri. While this isn't your full dose of your little iPhone girlfriend, it may just fulfill your craving to have something like Siri on your Mac. I personally very much hope that Siri gets ported over to OS X very soon, but for now, I'll have some fun playing around with this. Now, of course, none of the features that I showed in this video are anything new, but rather a widely unused feature of Mac OS X. So, I thought I'd freshen up the feature and teach you guys how you can make it seem like your own little Siri. So, if you enjoyed this and you're going to use this, feel free to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Leave a comment down below on what you think of Siri, what do you think of Siri for iPhone, for Mac, and what do you think of this little cool thing that I found. I'm open to hear all your guys' opinions, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. This is Cyber Ace TV, and me and Siri will see you next time.